Hey, good morning, guys. What's up, man? This is your local neighborhood hope dealer. San Diego, baby. Let's go. It's Friday. We got through the week. You know what I'm saying? One day at a time, one minute at a time. Let's thank the Lord for everything that he's doing in our lives. He's working miracles. As we're waiting for the blessing, he's building our character. He's doing the amazing things that he does. And we thank you, Lord, for that, Father. We love you so much. All right, let's bow our heads in prayer and get this devotion started today. I think today will be a good one. <clears throat> On what I have to say, I, I really like this one. I think it's the key to life. So let's bow our heads in prayer, all right? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything that you do. You are the number one. You are the Alpha Omega. You are the head physician. Please continue to put a hedge of protection. And please heal big Mike Delgado's lungs, Father, as we pray every day, every minute, every second for this man to come to, to come home to his family. <clears throat> please continue to watch over his family as they build the character and they, they're able to handle all things through Christ. It will strengthen them, Father. Please continue to watch over my buddy Patrick as he continues to walk in the light with you. Please heal his body, Father. Please heal my friend up in the high desert let her get back to moving and grooving in a real way with you baby we love you with our whole hearts please continue to have us walk in the light father please continue to allow me to spread the good news father Please continue to help me know that you are the way and you are the truth. That even though sometimes the devil tries to come at me with fire arrows, I can see him because the more I seek you, the bigger the flames get. And I can see him and I can avoid him. And I thank you for that, Father. Please continue to walk in my light, in my life. Uh, bring me to the light. Allow me to shine so bright I can bring another addict or another person out of the dark, Father. I thank you, Lord, Father, for changing my whole perspective and giving me a whole new way of life. I love living two lives, the old me and now the new me. And I'm so thankful for the new me. I love you with my whole heart, Father, as I continue to walk in the light with the spirit that guides me, Father. Tomorrow when I do the devotion at the Salvation Army San Diego, best ARC, <laughs> tomorrow, hopefully you come into my life and I decrease as you increase in my life and we continue to spread the good news and I give a good word out to those men and they can move and groove with the Lord all day in the warehouse or wherever they want to do with the work therapy, Father. We love you with our whole heart and we love you and we love you and we love you and we love you and I cannot be one second away from you and I thank you and I thank you and I thank you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen, guys. How's it going today? So it's Friday, getting through the week, loving life. Let's continue to walk in the light with the Spirit. As we get our integrity back, we get the character to be able to handle the blessings and not ruin the blessings, Father. Then we become the blessing, and then we become the person that we've always wanted to be. The, we become the person that we admire, guys. Today I want to talk about... To me, what I've been, I've been listening, I listen to motivational talk, I listen to pastors, and I listen to a lot of things, and I feel like this is super important, because I can look back in my life, and I can totally relate to this. It's not what you get, it's not what happens to you, it's who you become through everything, guys. It's who you become, okay? I believe that. I believe when I think in my heart, if I continue to walk with the Lord every day and I continue to change by his grace and I continue to walk and do the right thing, I feel like when I'm 75, 80, I will be super ecstatic of the man that I had become. And I know this because during baseball, I got pushed through the, through the, uh, you know, the, 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 the um, I got pushed through the, uh, I don't know, dude, the circus, I guess you can call it the circus of professional sports. And I came out not happy with who I had become. I totally chased the wrong things. I came out of the locker room and I didn't see the flaming arrows from the devil. They were like assassins coming at me. I totally chased every pleasure that the devil had to offer. I pushed off God for a long, long, long time. And who I had become by doing that, I was miserable. I'm thankful that I'm going to be able to, so far I've lived 40 years and I've walked 40 years on this planet, wandered for 37 of them, that I'm able to still be alive and still be healthy, that I'm able to live this second life, this rebirth, this new creation of who I am, because who I am now, I love myself. I love myself. God showed me love and now I love myself and now I spill love out to others, guys. But that first 37 years, I did not like who I'd become. It didn't matter what you gave me uh, material-wise, guys. You could have gave me anything with material-wise or anything from the outside. Nothing would have made me happy because it's because of who I become, who I was as a person. I didn't like it. I tried to escape it with drugs all the time. I tried to get high for like five minutes just to become someone that I wasn't. I thought I could control my emotions. I thought I could like like choose to do drugs and I could control how I felt. And it was miserable, guys. It was miserable. And I know this because the last 1,014 days I put God first, right? 
How could a man, guys, how could a man live 37 years not caring about God and going super hard for the other team, the devil? Literally going super hard for the devil, right? How could a man do that? Come to the cross at the Salvation Army or come to a point of desperation in the jail cell. Get up. Last 1,014 days. Walk into a whole nother direction. And be fulfilled from the inside and feel super good about where his life's going, feeling super happy. How could I not shout from the mountaintops that this right here on the planet is the way and the truth? I have to spread that good news, guys. I am a totally different new creation. Just like Apostle Paul was Saul. Saul walked the planet killing Christians. He saw the Lord had an experience. He became Apostle Paul and wrote almost all of the New Testament, guys. Changed man, right? Me, changed man, guys. So I want you to, I want it to soak into your hearts today that it's not about what you receive. Stop chasing material things, guys. Start focusing on your family, the loved ones, the people that care about you. For me, because I wanted to use drugs, anyone that came into my life to try to help me, I pushed them out of the way. <clears throat> So me and my family's relationship at the end of my addiction was not good at all. It was not even existent. Now I don't do drugs. I'm not addicted to nothing. Maybe I'm addicted to you, Lord, and I think I'm thankful for that. But now, guys, I've brought my family close to me. I know the people that are looking good, looking out for me. I bring them close to me. I don't push them away. And now I have these unbelievable fulfilled relationships with other people on the planet that help me get through my day. Because as iron sharpens iron, man sharpens man. And at the Salvation Army, just like iron sharpens iron, I went through that program with a bunch of other men trying to get sober. And as I came out, I came out as a sharpened tool to be for the Lord to be able to use to help change lives. And I'm thankful for that. I found a gift that I have being able to spread the good news. I found a gift that I had that I knew I had early on because I used to do like reporters. I used to talk to the reporters. I'd done a couple TV things with, um, I'd done a couple things where I know that I can speak. I'm good at it. But now I'm using my words for good because your words can clobber someone. I try to go into my life every day and I use my words for good. So a person comes into my life that's never heard, hasn't heard nothing good in a while. I push some good words in that direction and you can see their soul light up. These words right here are a weapon and I use them for good and I'm thankful for that, guys. But we have to realize that it's not who, what we get. It's not what happens. It's who we become. And as we wait for the blessings, will we, be, we will become the blessing and our character, guys, our character will be built. So then we're able to handle success because of who we became, we're going to do good with the money that we get or the success that we get. We're going to use it for good to help other people. We're not going to use it for selfish gain. All right, guys, I hope we got something out of that. I just want to really, really to soak in your heart that it's not who we become or it's not who we what we receive. It's who we become. And I believe this because my first 37 years, I didn't like who I became and I was very unhappy. The last 1,014 days, I love who I've become and I wake up happy every day, guys. All right. I'm going to read from my Jesus always. Like I said, this is a book that continues, continues to encourage us to walk one minute at a time with God. <clears throat> Come to me continually. I surrender to God, honestly, all the time. I consistently surrender to God. I ask for him to give me what I can handle. I pray for what he's got for me next. And I pray for him to open doors for me to be able to speak. And I pray for him to put me next to other godly people so I can learn every single day what it takes and what it's like to continue to walk with the Lord. And I'm thankful for that. These are things that I pray for. Come to me continually. I am meant to be the center of your consciousness. You put God first. You, my nose itches. <laughs> you put God first, right? Everything trickles down into play. God first, my social media is positive. God first, my marriage is awesome. God first, I know how to work at my job. God first, I do good with my money. I help people with my money. I do what I got to do with my money. I tithe with my money to the Lord. God first, all these things work out for my good, right? Money first, I use it for bad. Social media first, I use it for bad. Relationship first, always toxic. Job first, don't know what to just get lost in working and lose focus of everything around me. God first, everything works out, guys. Everything, all right? 
the anchor of your soul. Your mind will wander from me, but the question is how far you will allow it to wander. An anchor on a short rope lets a boat drift only slightly before the taut line tugs the boat back toward the center. Similarly, as you drift away from me, my spirit within you gives a tug, prompting you to return to me. As you become increasingly attuned to my presence, the length of the rope on your soul's anchor is shortened. I love this. You wander only a short distance before feeling the inner tug, telling you to return to your center center in me. Your, uh, to, uh, to return to your true center in me. Hebrews 6, 19, John 2, 28, Matthew 22, 37. And I feel this, guys. When I start to wander or I start to drift, I can feel my spirit tug me right back into place. Put God first and let's rock, baby. Let's move and groove with the Lord. All right, guys? Hey, let's have a great day. All right, it's going to be Friday. I hope you guys got something out of that. I liked it. I love it. I think it makes a lot of sense, guys. I think it makes a lot of sense. And remember, it's not what you get. It's who you become. Is what's going to bring joy just for today. Today matters. Let's have a great day.